Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody had a great week. All right guys, this <laughs> this one's cool. You're going to love this particular video. Uh, just watch it to the end. You're going to see what I'm talking about. If you had any doubts that there was uh, intelligent life on Mars, this should wipe away any doubts that you have. Now, we still will have naysayers saying, um, oh, you're seeing what you want to see, or it's all pareidolia. Listen, let's get the record straight. Pareidolia is when you see a shape, an outside shape of a dog, a bunny, or whatever it may be in the clouds, right? But what happens when you see an object that has details all over it? Is that still considered pareidolia? Now, I use that term once in a blue moon here because we try to, our brains try to uh, match what we're seeing in these photos to things we see here on Earth. How is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, right? Because to me, if these objects are in fact there, maybe they're very similar to what we got here on Earth. Again, not a bad thing. Okay, so one of my subs had sent this, uh, this photo to me, or this link to this uh, panorama, and I'm going to show you this in a second. Her name's Amy Lachlan, and I'm going to show you this. Now, I wasn't sure what she was talking about, and I did go back and forth with her on Facebook, asking her, um, can you please show me this again? Because she showed me this particular pan, I think it was in January, in fact, uh, and I looked it over, and we looked at different things. I might have even done a video on it. Not sure yet. So she sent this to me, and I, then I sent her um, a, a picture of what I found, a screenshot of what I found, and I said, is this it? She never did get back to me. Probably busy, right? So if she found something other than, um, than what I found, I will do another video on her findings. So anyway, thank you, Amy, for bringing this to my attention. Let's jump into this, because this is cool. All right, this is it right here, and this particular... Uh, pan was made by Todd and you can see that right there Curiosity Rover saw 1285 composites now you can see the um, right here the description it says composites made from mass cam images taken on Sol 1285 the images were processed from the PDS raw now if you guys don't know anything about the PDS the PDS is a, the most best quality you can get from NASA JPL sites and stuff like that so um, and you can see the uh, he's got a link right here so thank you Todd for making this and stitching this together let me show you these three anomalies. These are going to prove without a doubt there was intelligent life on Mars, and probably still is. But let's get into this. The first one is right here. It's in this area. Now, this may be what Amy was talking about. She said it would look like it's some kind of weird robot or something along the lines of sticking out of a rock. Now, when I looked at this, I'm going, well, you know, and I stumbled on this by accident. I didn't even see this, and that's, and again, I'm still trying to get her answer back. But uh, again, if it differs... From what I'm seeing, I will t I will do her uh, video, you know, and I will show you what she found. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, what I found was this object here. Now, you can see, and this is just bizarre, guys. I'm going to zoom in even more because this is the best you can zoom in here. I'm going to go like this. Now, when I saw this, and now you can see what what she may be looking at. Is it looks like a head with like two arms sticking out of this onto a rock, right? I'm seeing something a little different. Now, I'm going to go ahead and. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen, and we'll let it drop here a little bit. Okay. What I'm seeing is, like, two mechanical arms. Again, <laughs> robot, right? But it looks like pieces of steel holding something that's hovering in the air. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Now, also I want you to take note of is this is, looks like a silver circle in the back of it. See that? Right there. This has a 90-degree angle right here and goes towards the back. And you're going to see this a little bit better. I'm going to show you that in a moment after I show you these other two anomalies right here okay let's back up I'm gonna to jump to these briefly and then I'm gonna show you in Photoshop when I had cleaned it up what it actually looks like there's another object and it's tough to find these things are hidden all over the place guys oh my god when you really take a look at these photos and just have a good look you can't believe the stuff you'll find in here okay here it is right here now when you look at this part right here, this the first time I seen it, it looked like a circle right here. And then you've got this line. Like you see, picture almost like a video screen. Like let's say you had a portable DVD player, and it was probably a 10-inch uh, DVD player. Now if you look, cock your head to the left, you've got what looks like part of the screen. You can see it goes down, goes like this here, goes straight down, 90-degree angle, goes this way. And I thought this was maybe a circle, and that this frame was contouring that circle. It was going on. You can see this radius right here, and then back down. Then I looked at it again, it looks like just like some kind of design where it goes up, comes back down, and still has what looks like a screen feature, almost looks like a box, if you will, or it's just simply a design. It doesn't look natural. Okay, this other one will also blow your mind. This thing is awesome. Um, when you stop and look, look at this, this thing is just cool. 
this object right here, right here in the dirt, has this opening right here. It almost looks like a propeller. It's got a pin right here, some kind of, uh, I'm going to call it a pivot pin. And you've got what looks like something right here. See that? And a docker center to it. It's round right here. Goes like this, has a pin or something in the center. And then what looks like uh, a longer straight end to this. Now, the funny thing about it, it looks like there's like stuff just hanging off of it. Is it possible that this is perfectly balanced? Because if you get longer on this end, this end can be shorter because it has this round circle. But check this out. You get this thicker area here going past and down past the back of this and the back of this. But look at the shape of this coming down. And then you get this other object here in the back. Almost looks like if you if like a trunk lid or as uh, my friends in the UK like to call it the boot. If you look at it, it looks like almost like a trunk lid right here. You know, you put your hand right here and boom, shut it closed. But I'm not saying that's what it is, because clearly this thing is really small. I'm just saying I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what it looks like to me. Um, you know, and this something we can relate. You know what I mean? Now, let me jump into this on Photoshop, and we'll have a close look at this one first, and it's the last thing we looked at right here. Now, let's clean this up a little bit. I made it bigger as well as changing the color. Check this thing out. To me, this looks like mechanical. I don't want to hear that BS about pareidolia. You're seeing what you want to see. Pareidolia is when, if you're going to use that term, it's like you know what it is. Well, clearly, I don't know what this is. It's it's some kind of mechanical device. Not sure what it is, right? And I think you'll all agree that that does not look like a simple rock laying right there. Brought it up a little bit bigger so we can really have a look at this thing. Now I'm going to zoom in really good for you guys on this. Check this out. Now, that is a bit blurry, so we're going to back out just a little bit. We can do it manually this way. So we can check that out, guys. And you can see that that thing is, see, like I said, if I was to balance this particular thing, almost like, it might be of a compass hand. You know what I'm saying? It has this center, and it has this would be longer to counterbalance this shorter end, but has this round uh, piece to it, right? This round feature. But nonetheless, look at the way this thing is. And guess what? It keeps going. So this thing does actually show, this is mush. This is what I call crap CGI garbage right here to try to cover up what this is because you can clearly see the line still goes below this sand, right? Check that out. All right, now let's jump backwards because I want to show you the other object. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. And here's that object I was telling you guys about right there. See this? Let's do this. And we'll go red, boom, boom, okay. Right here, you can see what looks like it's doing this. Goes down, has this curvature rather. Comes down, 90 degree angle. What I thought was at first was this was a circle. But then I went, well, hold on a minute. That's not a circle at all. You've got right here, we can do it this way too. Again, you've got over, kind of comes down. Straight down. Like this. But this looks like it has a round piece now that I look at it closer, and does this. And then goes all the way down here and comes back around. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Maybe you guys can, but whatever the hell that thing is, I'm just going to move out just a hair bit because sometimes it can get too blurry. Whatever that thing is, it has 90 degree angles. It has what looks like something would be more intelligently designed, right? Pretty cool stuff as far as I'm concerned. Now let's jump back to this original one. Now Amy may be talking about this because it does look like some weird, if you were to look at it, it could be the head, two arms sticking out right out of the rock, right? Let's have a closer look and then we're going to get rid of some of the shadows. This thing is hovering. This object right here is actually hovering in the air. And you can see these arms come out, 90 degree angle holding it down. This one looks appears to be bent a little bit doing this. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that? It comes right out and has a curvature to it. But whatever the hell this thing is, and it could be encrusted over years and years, right? Comes straight out, drops right down like a nice 90 degree angle. See that? Right there. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in this for you a second. But check this out. It has what looks like, almost like if you could put like a chrome washer against something. That's what I'm seeing right there doing this. And this object goes right into it. And here's the thing too. Look for this. It goes further back. See it? Look at the shadow. Let me go back out of this. Right here, it goes back. It goes back even further. So I don't know if this is a transparent item, and you can actually still see this thing traveling on past this wall. This is a wall with a washer, and this thing keeps going back, 
I don't know if it's a manipulation that they've tried to hide this. I'm not sure. Either way you look at it, that thing is bizarre. Look at that. That is just cool. And this is literally off the ground. And because you can see these things are actually, you can see it. This is from here, this arm right here. From here to here, that's off the ground. So this is clearly only has a 90 degree angle. So clearly this thing has to be floating or this thing is actually attached like it's a mechanical part and it's holding it. Now, I, I did a little more whiting on this so you guys can see this a little bit better. What do you guys think? That's just neat. That is absolutely neat. Now, if Amy, if this is what she was talking about, great find in this, Amy, because this could be anything, right? It's not rocks. I don't care what anybody says. It's not a rock. Now, this thing may be encrusted, and I believe that's what these things are over the years, and just some things just happen to be still sticking out of a rock, right? So, okay. Now I want to show you guys something, some other oddities that I found, and I think you guys are going to like this. Let's go back over to this other side. In fact, we're going to make this full screen so everybody can see this well. Just some just weird things sticking out of weird things, man. I mean, just crazy. All right. Let me see if I can't find some of these other things that were just hanging around here. Look at this item here. There's like two holes right here. One's bigger. One appears smaller. Notice how this particular object right here has like a concave end to it. And looks like a, almost like a hole was drilled. See that? You, only can, you can see this piece right here, and it goes down to whatever the, the, the flatter part of the bottom of that is, but yet it's the rest of it's tan and the rest of it's white. Uh, how does that work? Um, let me see if I can find these other objects. Look at the way these things are spaced apart. It's like one, two, three. Again, these things are hard to find. They're strewn all over the area. Check this out. Now, this piece here could be blocking that because you can see this is kind of off the ground. I was going to say, it looks like a complete uh, rectangle, but this, again, is in, it looks, it appears to be, no, actually, it isn't. It's actually part of this other rock right there. Look at these. Look at the way you get these, these, what looks like hooded areas, see? See that right there? We've got, but well, actually, it looks almost like rectangular, but you can see there's actually a stitch right here. So this may kind of, that probably isn't rectangular, whatever that may be. Look at this item right here. It goes across, goes down, and you can see there's a flat pot to it. It goes like this over. You can see it crosses over and then goes back down. This is almost like a block, like a block of, uh, of concrete or whatever. You can see that. You guys will get the links to this because this is crazy. Here's what I call that weird look like a screen or some kind of, it looks like some kind of, I don't know, petroglyph. It could be, I mean, what do you guys think of that? If you tilt your head to the left, what is that? Look at the way it, boom, corner. Goes around like this, comes back down 90 degree uh, corner again, goes across. What is that? Check this out. Just happens to be sticking out right here. Now, what I'm looking at, and you, I don't know if you guys can see this very good, but right here goes like this. It's thicker right here. One, two edges. You can see like a line, a line, and there's like this little knob or something like that right in the center of it where it's thicker, and it goes out to here. Again, crazy looking objects, right? Look at this thing. I, I mean, you can't help but to look at these things because there's no way that this is natural. You got something like sticking right out of the dirt back here. Could be anything. I don't know if it's sticking straight up or if it's going into the background of this other object. Don't know. Look at this. Almost reminds me of a piece of steel. Comes up, goes over to here. I'm not sure if that extends it, but look at this. Comes down, goes over to here, stops. Looks like a finger. Like, it looks like three fingers of steel. You got one, two, three. There's one right here sticking out. Come back over to here. There's another thicker one here. Come back over here. There's another thicker one right here. Whatever that is, that can't be natural. It just doesn't appear to be natural. Now, I get it that na and nature can do some crazy things. I mean, she does crazy things here on Earth, so why not on Mars, too? Because they claim it was a lot like Earth, right? So why not do the same thing between wind and water erosion? It can do some phenomenal things, but no. I mean, come on. Look at this right here. You got this 90-degree angle. Another one over here. It's like a box type thing right here on this rock. Okay, let's go find some other things here. I mean, guys, just some great. Look at this. has this opening right here and something sticking right out of it. Is it a rock? Something more than a rock? Guys, just and I'm going over this quickly, whereas you guys will have the time, the chance to actually uh, 
uh, dissect this, this photo yourself because this is awesome. This photo alone, this paint alone, is just another set of smoking guns right here. And that's pretty much it, man. And you can't say much more than that. Look at this. It looks like a piece of steel or something like that right here. And you can see the line of it going up right up here. And all you see is the bottom edge. And you can see what looks like a separation right there between the two. And you can look closely. You can see what looks like rectangular, rectangle, rectangle. What is that? There's no way of knowing. I mean, it may be a rock. We don't know, right? Let's see if we can find something else. I mean, just bizarre things. I'm sure you guys will find some crazy things. I just don't want this to be super long. But look at this. Looks like something sticking up here, or this is just part of this contoured rock. Speaking of rocks, let me show you something. Let me just jump back to this real quick, because this is pretty cool. Where she, she pointed out this stick thing, too, right here. Is this a wall or just a simple rock? Right here. Right here. It goes across. It's been broken apart. And the reason why I say wall, most people say it's nothing more than a flat shale rock or something, but check this out. It stops right here, and it appears to be hollow. See that? It's been broken to pieces, you can see that, but it appears to have a, a hollow inside. Now, if this was completely straight, we might see this, this space in here in between be completely uh, even, which that wouldn't happen in nature, right? So what is that? Again, here's that rock. Okay, let's move on. The more I see this stuff, I listen, and I've said this before, you know, if I was dead tomorrow, if I was dying tomorrow, I would know one million percent we are not alone. We've never been alone. Uh, a lot of people will deny these things and say, oh, no, no, you're, you're just seeing things. Well, if I'm seeing things, that's fine with me. I'm perfectly okay with that. Check this out. You can see this thing go up. It looks like it ends right there. has this rounded piece right here and what looks like a weird funky, I don't know if I want to call it a propeller, but has this weird needle type thing with a balance pin. You can see this, and again, it looked like that, like I said, that uh, boot lid or trunk lid, of at least the shape of it. Again, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying the shape. Just crazy items, guy. Look at this. I mean, what does that perfectly? That's nature that's doing that? Really? I think a lot of these things are rocks, but I also believe a lot of this stuff is actually encrusted objects, anomalies, intelligent made, in intelligently made objects laying right here on the surface and we're seeing it this one's awesome and like i said i want you guys to comb over this because you guys will find some cool cool things in here where's that other object too i want to show oh look at this um rock right check this out look at the way this thing looks right here almost looks like a corner looks like a wall type thing with a corner but check this thing out right here comes down like this up goes over almost like if you had a planter outside your window it has that kind of and you can see the top would be right here this goes up like this, goes up and over, comes down. It's rectangular at the top of it. Almost looks like a box type thing hanging off an edge. Look at this. This random piece of white object just happened to be sticking out out of this rock. I mean, actually, it looks like it has like almost a design right there. You can see like it goes like this, almost square inside this. Goes like this, comes down, almost has this hook kind of look to it. And goes like that. What do you guys make of that? Just out of clear blue, just a rock sitting there, or a supposed rock. And, uh, and I don't believe these are rocks. These could be pots of structures, mechanical items. This could be anything. Um, just crazy items. Look at this. Looks like things connecting to other things. Look, it almost looks square right here. You can see this right here, partially. Circle, circle. Piece looks like it goes down into this item. I don't know, guys. But to me, these three items alone, just these alone, is, is just... It, it has a huge wow factor because... There's things in here that clearly are just not natural. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it too much longer. I do have some more incredible videos coming up. I want you guys to stay tuned for that. I think you're going to like these. I'm going to try to roll these out more, seeing we've been a little bit uh, trying to play catch-up, if you will. I guess some other of you guys have sent me some more items to look at, so we're going to try to get to those. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next one.